Great break? Yeah. Anything exciting happen? Anything? Or is there any mics? A lot of candy. You see money coming to visit everybody? Yeah, Tanner. Long train ride. So Tanner is coming back to us from Florida. Arizona. 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 You rode the train? Yeah, Holy cow. With your family or? What are the, what types of things did you do? Like um, play cards? No particular like activities, like sometimes you're on an airplane and they can put a movie on and we'll see the camera. Yeah, cool. cool. Anybody else? Anything? Yeah. Oh, good. Have a good Easter. Good. Good. Well, good to see everybody. Pull out your note sheets because we got. We're going to finish this up because we want to hear all those great presentations. And we also want to get to that test Friday so that way you're prepared. That way you're prepared. So we'll give you, we've got some subjects to cover today and we've got an activity that we're, that we're, we're excited about and we think you'll like. Um, and that'll be good. Where did the futon go? Uh, I don't know. Uh, did anybody ever feel like this? Well, that's why we come, right? To learn the stuff we don't know. Uh, what about this stuff? Do you remember this? Without looking at your sheet? Without looking at your sheet, try and remember it. What do we think? What did you say? It just happens. It just happens. What else? What else? <laughs> Doing drugs while you're pregnant. Uh, lifestyle choices. One more. Yep. Teen pregnancy. And last one, absolutely. What's one last contributing factor to our health? Absolutely, right in that section where we're looking at infant mortality. So we're in that section looking at infant mortality. What is the current rate of infant mortality in the United States? Yes. Six per thousand. Six per thousand, absolutely. Six per thousand. Is that better or worse than what it was back in the day? Better, yes. Okay, so. Good review, glad to make sure we remember what we talked about before Easter break. So today, we want to talk specifically about diabetes. Who of you know somebody with diabetes? Yeah, so a lot of us, a lot of us know people who are affected by diabetes. Does anybody in here have diabetes? No. Do you know the person you know? Do you know if they have type 1 or type 2 diabetes? Do you know? Raise your hand if you know the person who has type 1 diabetes. Raise your hand if you know the person who has type 2 diabetes. Raise your hand if you had no idea that there was a difference. Most of us. Raise your hand if you're listening. Okay, just make sure. So you were not sure if they have type 1 or type 2. Do you know that there's a difference or have you ever heard that before? Yeah? All right. Somebody give me an explanation. What is type 1 diabetes? And this one. So there's um, protocols in the blood cell, and they start to disappear, and that they are in what unlocks the cell growth so that the sugar and fuel cells can start going up.
Justin went into some anatomy and physiology there. Give us the give us the, the, the skinny. Give us the simple we can talk freshman health class type one. Give us the skinny or the lowdown on the difference between type one and type two. Not what it is, the difference. Phone a friend, Trinity. Okay, is it one like pass down to your family and then the other one's just like you get it? Absolutely. That's so that's what I was looking for as the difference between. So you were going into like the actual mm -hmm. like what's going on with that type of diabetes. Absolutely, Trinity. So some people, so the people that we know who have diabetes might have inherited it. Now how what is that thing? What's Pancreas, what is, why is that important to the people that we know that have diabetes? Insulin? Yes, absolutely. Insulin. Okay, so Justin was talking about a whole super deep physiology stuff. Let's give a, a, a simpler example. How many of you are always told or heard of a sugar high? Right? You eat a lot of sugar, you drink a lot of pop, something like that. Whoop, you get a sugar high. They say to avoid that because of what? The sugar crash. Bam! Get a big sugar crash. Absolutely. Why does it? Two points. Why does that happen? Can you use all your energy during a sugar high. Use all your energy during a sugar high. Sure, okay. So, if you eat a lot of sugar, let me explain what I do. Here's where our body wants to be, right? We don't, we don't like change, we don't like ups and downs, we like to be just right here. You eat a lot of sugar, what happens? You go up. How, if our body wants to be here, does it come back down? It works more and harder. Than that. Works harder, so you kind of get a sugar rush. That's kind of what's going on there. This, bag, this, this big fella senses that we got a lot of blood in our sugar. <coughs> sugar in our got a lot of sugar in our blood. And so it works pretty hard to try and get that down. So people with type 1 diabetes have an affected pancreas, which is what sends this out to help us get back to normal. So the people who inherited that, that's tough. There's really not much that we can do. But what about type 2? What about type 2? So we said one is inherited, one is what we do. What about those people? So one, they're going to have to do this probably life. What about type 2? So, we, so we've so got diabetes now because of what we've done. What do you think? Yeah, preventable. I can, I, can, I can change those things. I can change those things. So when you're thinking of the difference, one, inherited, type 2, likes our choices. Now, so the last question in the, in the section on diabetes. The last question in the section on diabetes. What do you think? People don't follow the rules. People don't follow the rules, so they're not treating themselves well. They don't eat the right food. They don't eat the right food. So, okay, so, we, so lifestyle wise, we've just got a lot more going on, so we've rate, we've changed our lifestyle behaviors, but something is No, because that we would think that technology would help us. Oh, are you saying that okay. Technology has increased, our lifestyle choices have gone a little worse, so I see what you're saying. No, 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 no. Alright, so type two we said is preventable. We've done that. Okay, this one Probably not, right? Do you think we've learned how to help these people, though? Do you think this potentially is going to pass down to their kids? So now we've learned how to live with it, but yet it's still going to pass down. Therefore, we're going to have more people who have it, but 
can't treat it. So just numerically, we're going to have more people because we figured out how to live with it. Right? So now, technically, those people are dying and they have diabetes. They're not necessarily dying from diabetes, but they have it. Okay? So there's that last impulse because that's important to us because a lot of us know a lot of people with diabetes. We also know a lot of people We're going to count off by three. So go up to three. Yes. Three. Three. Say it out loud so you remember. for Mr. Richter, he messed up too. Sorry, count to six. We're going to have six groups of three is what we should, roughly. One. So count up to seven. Seven. Count up to seven. Three. Four. Six. Seven. Ones, twos, threes, fours, fives, sixes relatively in the middle. No, you can leave your stuff. You can leave your stuff. You'll be coming back. Sixes and sevens. You can leave your stuff. Sevens in the back. So find your group. Find your group. Find your group. Find your group. Yeah, kids are back. Fill that out as best you can with your group. 